There's lots of videos about fitting windscreens on the on YouTube, and um, they differ quite a lot actually. Some use string, some don't. Um, I'm going to try to use one that doesn't use string. Um, and what it did say was to use soapy water. But I wonder, if rather than water, obviously makes things everything wet. Perhaps WD-40 could be uh, used. This is my hope. It'll be slightly less messy. So, what I have seen is getting it into the first corner is important. So let's see. Now, for tools, I think another video I was looking at was using screwdrivers. But um, a little bit concerned that screwdrivers are a bit too hard and likely to damage the glass. So I've got some plastic, um, they're actually bicycle tyre levers, and the thing is they're plastic. So let's see how well they work. Persuading this rear screen into position. Now I should probably add that this screen actually isn't the one that was originally in the car. The one that was originally, there wasn't one originally in the car when I bought it. But the guy who had the, had this car had another Gilbin. In fact, it was a Gilbin Genie. And uh, he never actually said, because I asked, said, have you got a screen? He never said exactly where that came from. But, um, the screen in the genie was loose. This one was missing and he mysteriously had another screen so I can only suppose that this indeed is the screen out of the Gilbert genie. So let's, uh, well it seemed too ridiculous so far. Yeah, it was always going to get more difficult as you work around. Of course the battery on my um, camera ran out, um, so you, you missed a bit. Um, but I have in fact succeeded in getting a lot of this window in using the uh, bicycle tyre levers and WD-40 as a lubricant for the rubber. 
Um, I got it done almost right over to here. Well, it was right over to here. This bit was in, this bit was not in. And that was a problem actually because this is the cut end and it was falling inside the car. So <clears throat> I've had to pull the window out a bit in order to get that section back again. And uh, I'll just say once again, I've never done this before. So what you're seeing here is by no means the work of an expert. It's the work of a uh, first timer. So um, use that as you will. Anyway, I'm going to carry on fighting with these tyre levers and see if I can uh, complete the job. Right, well, I'll st stop right there, I think. Oh. Quite physical work. I should say that um, while this is by no means a masterclass, um, I thought I'd have a go. One of the reasons being why in principle I could get a windscreen fitter to come and do it. Um, I'm not so sure your average um, online type um, windscreen fitters really know how to do these windscreens anymore because very few cars have this type of windscreen anymore so I was a bit um, I don't know, frightened I suppose of doing it But uh, I was quite surprised. Well, I wouldn't say it was easy. Um, it wasn't that hard. Anyway, I've now got to clean off all the WD-40 with some windscreen cleaner. One thing I didn't show because um, I was too involved in actually doing it and then the camera battery went flat. As I use this setup to push the centre of the roof up. Basically I put this part on the back seat, with this part on the ceiling and then pushed it up like that. Um, just in there. And that pushed the centre of the roof up, which was obviously a little bit saggy. Um, and it helped, I think. Obviously I haven't tried doing it without, but I, it, I, did, I did do that and it seemed to help. And when I took it out just now, the whole thing went bloom and it seemed to settle it all into position as well. So yeah, I think that's worked quite well. And it's sensible that the back of the roof is now a heck of a lot more rigid than it was before. So yeah, here we go. Novice windscreen fitting. And so I would say to any other novices who are thinking of fitting a rubber windscreen like this, um, have a go. I was quite surprised that it wasn't ridiculous and so far I haven't broken it either. Just got to do the Innsville strip but I think it's a special tool I need for that so I shall leave that to another time. <laughs>